can never give up, you can never surrender Fight the good fight till the end of the night And always remember, you can never give up, you can never surrender This is Tucker Welty, also known as Zeus In by my YouTube screen name, but most of, on the internet I'm mostly known as Taku, but Zeus was before Taku, and that's when I am, uh, you know, signed up on YouTube, and I still go by Zeus in some places, but Taku is what I'm more widely known as, and this is Let's Play Golden Sun. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit bland, that's, I think it sounds something bland listening to it, and... It's my normal voice, and you know, and this is my first time recording, so I hope the recording comes out really well. And this is the protagonist of Golden Sun, Isaac. But I'm gonna be renaming all of my characters, so I'm gonna re rename uh, Isaac over as myself, Taku. And as you heard the bell, if you press select three times while naming Isaac, you can actually name the other three characters of the game. It's slightly of a spoiler, but it's kind of spoiler-like, but it's not really much of a spoiler. You know the characters anyway in the game, or you should. And if this is your first time playing, you'll know them quickly enough. Garrett is known as Glenn, and Ivan is going to be known as Aiden. Both of those are characters from uh, the same story that Taku is from. Um, uh, or because Taku, before he originated as me, he was actually a story character, and I do a lot of writing. And that's, they're from the na same story, and you know, and I like to name characters from games as characters from my writings because it allows me to get into them and match personality with per personality, you know. And Mia, sh she's my favorite from this, the from the first game, and Mia's gonna be known as Shira. Mia and Shira, or Taku and Shira, are basically brother sister characters. They're not usually they're not related by blood, but you know they're really close and. In most of my, in most games I play and things I do, Taku and Shira really go hand in hand, and Mia really matches Shira well. And as you can see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to enter the code up down up down, left right left right up left down right up and select. By doing that, it allows you to name the three characters from the next Golden Sun: The Lost Age. This is, a, this is a bit more of a spoiler, even though they appear in this game. But I want you guys to, to basically get a feel for the char for the names of the characters I'm going to be using from the get-go, so you can get used to it in the second game. I'll still um, uh, call characters what they are from the games. Like, I'll still call Isaac Isaac, but uh, you, you'll get it when, when, I, when I can. You'll get it. I did a bit of um, volume fixing because I think the first part is going to sound a little bit quiet. Hopefully this is better. And Alright, let's get back to renaming the characters. Felix, he's the protagonist of the next game. He appears in this game, but he don't, he's not really playable till the next game. And I'm going to name him Kobe. Kobe is from basically Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 or Dragon Quest Monsters 2. And I really just like the name. It just sounds nice. And It's a name that I really only use it for myself in games. And G G Jenna is going to be known as Rira or Rila. Um, uh, she's not my character. She's a character that um, uh, is, that's fr that's uh, a friend of mine. Um, her uh, Rira and Taku has grown close together, and she, it's actually been a part. She's now a part of my storyline, so I use her. And it's more uh, Taku is more of a love interest for Rira, and and you know and. That and I've just gone blank. Oh, and Shiba is gonna be Aiki. Aiki is from um, Dragon uh, Dragon Warrior One. Uh, the level up system there uh, is done by naming, and Aiki is is the name that I chose. And 
Um, so, yeah, in Dragon Warrior, whenever I play the first one, <laughs> the protagonist is a female. Think about that. And what you saw there was actually the Master Hand from Super Smash Brothers. And he cameos in this game. No, that was actually um, Synergy. I'll go over that, what Synergy is later. And just like all great RPGs, our protagonist is actually a silent protagonist. Um, as you, um, you saw that decisions in this game is done by a yes-no type of thing. And it's actually very cl closely related to Beyond the Beyond. And, th and there's actually a good reason for that because Camelot, who made this game, made Beyond the Beyond as well. And Beyond the Beyond, it was an RPG on the PlayStation. Some people actually see it as a very bad... Uh, it's actually rated very badly. I think it's one of the worst ever on the PlayStation. But I actually like it. It's actually probably developed a cult following. I really love the game. It's pretty nice. You should try it at least. Really nice story, music, fighting. It's really good to play as. And, you know, it was actually the first RPG I played on the PlayStation, actually. But, yeah, it's really good. And if you want to see where Camelot started at, you know, you should play it. I don't, I don't know if it's Camelot's first name, but it's the first game I played. And... Uh, I'll have to actually look that up. And I'll go over the stats later when they actually come in, you know, when we actually start important. This is like a prelude, prelude thing, you know, because you, as you can see, they're actually quite young. So, yeah, I'll go over everything later on. There's another yes/no situation. The the yes/no situations actually don't change the story much at all. You just get a lot of funny scenes out of them, basically. You know, if you disagree with one of your party members, they might go uh, immediately go uh, do a con. It, it basically creates for some funny things to happen sometimes. And my the game uh, the emulator I use actually slows down a little bit here. I don't know why. I don't think it has happened before. It might be because I was recording. Uh, but it seems to only happen when there's a lot of things going on. So it shouldn't happen too much during this playthrough. Hopefully it shouldn't happen. I'm going to end this actually a little bit early because, you know, actually this is a test and this seems a good place to end it. And um, my, uh, my next videos will be longer and... Basic, and probably more planned out as well. As you can see, I'm improvising here. I'm actually using the narration feature of Windows Movie Maker. And basically, I'm not talking as I'm playing. I'm watching the video that I've already recorded and talking over it. So hopefully next time it'll be better and we'll actually get somewhere in this Let's Play. <laughs>